In this problem, we have to find the radius and interval of convergence of this power series. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use something called the geometric series test. So the geometric series test says if you have something like, say, A times R to the K, and we can start this sum anywhere. Let's just go ahead and start it at zero so that it matches uh, what we have in the problem. If the absolute value of R is less than one, then we have convergence of the infinite series. And uh, if the absolute value of R is greater than or equal to one, then we have divergence of this infinite series. So here we can easily identify A is one, so it's not really relevant. Uh, what really matters is the R. And you can see R here is equal to two X. So we know that this series here will converge if the absolute value of two X is less than one, right? That's by this test here. This is called the geometric series test, GST, geometric, geometric series test. So this will give us convergence. Um, we can break this up into two pieces. You can take the absolute value of two and the absolute value of x, but the absolute value of two is two, so this is just two absolute value of x. So you can always pull out uh, you know, positive numbers outside of absolute values. Then we can divide by two, so we end up with the absolute value of x um, less than one half. So the next step uh, is an algebraic one. It's from memory. Um, whenever you have a less than, what you do is you put a less than here, and then you put another one here, and then a negative. So you just plus and minus, and then put two less than. So I always think of it as less than, less than, less than. You could reason it uh, intuitively as well. Uh, the absolute value of x is the distance between x and 0. So we're saying that x is a number whose distance from 0 is less than 1 half. Therefore, it must be between the numbers negative 1 half and 1 half. So, or you can just uh, memorize it. So this here uh, is going to be the interval of convergence. It'll be negative 1 half, 1 half. And if you're wondering, wait a minute, don't you have to check endpoints? The answer is no, um, because we use the geometric series test. So it converges only when um, the absolute value of R is less than one. Otherwise, for all other cases, it will diverge. In particular, it will diverge if the absolute value of R is equal to one. And just for, just you know, to enlighten you, let's pretend that we had that case, just so you are convinced that the endpoints don't need to be checked. Well, we can do the same thing here. And then we get this. And then when we drop the absolute value, we get a plus or minus. So we know it's going to diverge at uh, these numbers, right? So, but we knew that already. So, because you know it converges only when this happens. So the moral is that whenever you use the geometric series test, you never have to check the endpoints. Uh, typically people use the ratio test because this test only works when it's geometric, and so typically people check the endpoints. So we took a very, very powerful shortcut. Uh, as for the radius of convergence, um, let me show you how to figure that out. So we can think of this as the infinite sum as k runs from 0 to infinity of 2 to the k times x to the k. And so the generic form of a power series is the following. It's uh, a sub k times x minus c to the k, where c is called the center of the power series. So in this case, there's no c. It's really, it's really x minus 0 to the k. It really looks like this. So you see the center is 0. So because the center is 0, and this is what our interval looks like, you know the radius will just be 1 half. Now, there's a shorter way to do this, right? You just take uh, the length of this interval, which is one, and divide it by two and you get one half. <laughs> so you can, you can always do that. Just figure out how long this interval is and divide it by two. So you just basically subtract this number from this number and divide by two, and you'll always get the radius. So I like drawing a picture and thinking about how it matches the form of a power series. Uh, that way it makes it more about the form. I hope this video has been helpful to you in some way. Good luck.